What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been uh, about a month or so since I've put out any content and just been super busy. Life stuff, you know. So I'm working on a project today and I'm getting hungry and I was craving some pizza. Uh, we're going to do a cast iron skillet broiled pizza. Some people call it, might know this as a bar pizza or a bar pie. So I'm going to try my luck at it today and we'll see how it goes. Alright, first thing you want to do, get all your ingredients out because this is going to be a pretty fast process. You're not going to have a whole lot of time to mess around. So first set your oven to broil. I'm going to set it on high. Um, once you get your pizza going, we're going to go ahead and get this cast iron getting warm also. Put a little oil in here. Not much. Take a paper towel. Wipe that around a little bit. You don't want a soggy tortilla shell. Pizza sauce, yeah, I just spilled that. Pizza sauce I'm using, just regular Great Value brand. Wash this off my hand. Tortillas, spoon, cheese, pepperonis, canned mushrooms. Uh, what you're gonna do? Take a shell. Ideally, I'd like to have a bigger shell, but this is what I've got. It doesn't quite fit the pan, but we'll work with it. So let that heat up. It's really important to have all your stuff ready because it's going to go quick once this pan gets hot. Get it built here in the pan, let it cook just a little bit, throw it in the oven for like two to four minutes. You're going to really want to keep an eye on it because once you set it inside in the oven with the broiler on, I don't know how many times I've burnt toast or garlic bread. You know, you throw it in the oven, you're working on whatever else you're working on, and then three minutes, four minutes went by, and boom, you got black toast. So we don't want to put it in there very long. The broiler is just to get the cheese and stuff melted on top since we're already using a cast iron pan. You know, it's just going to get the bottom done. All right, our tortilla shells are nice and warm. Go ahead and throw some sauce on here. I wish I had some better sauce, some homemade sauce would be ideal, but just a quick lunch. Put your sauce on here, rub it in, as much sauce as you want, but the more sauce you get, the more soggy it's going to be, depending on how long you cook it. I don't know about you, but I don't like black crust, so just a light amount of sauce. Throw some cheese on it. However much cheese you like, I love cheese, so liberally. Some pepperonis. And some shrooms. You could put all kinds of stuff on this. I mean onions and peppers would be good. Whatever. I'm just making a quick lunch. I like mushrooms too. I can just eat this whole can plain. Alright. Show you what I got. It's starting to sizzle just a little bit. I'm going to let it cook just a little bit longer. Maybe throw a little more cheese on top of that. Kind of done the cheese backwards. Then we'll throw it in the broiler. I'll check my shell. Just light, light brown. Looking good so far. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more cheese on it.
starting to brown up nice. Handle's not hot yet. Oven's extremely hot. Throw that in there. Let that cheese and everything on top roll up. About two minutes, we'll take it out. Two minutes. That's it. Quick and easy. That's it guys, quick and easy pizza, I think it's, this might have took, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say 10 minutes, so if you're craving a pizza one day and you don't have pizza dough or a frozen pizza and you've got this stuff laying around, I think you should try it out, see that crust? Just golden brown. Mm. I hit the spot. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish this. Get back to my project on this Saturday. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up button. Comment down below, commenting, and hitting the like button. Really helps a lot. It helps with the algorithm on YouTube. Stay tuned. Y'all go out, cook you up a pizza like this. Try it. It's really good, really worth it. And it's super quack, super quack, super quick. Thanks, guys. See ya.